1,000 miles in 10 days. That's a feat that a small group of cyclists is currently attempting, all to honor a Texas Tech grad who sadly passed away during a head-on collision back in 2015. And today we caught up with those riders as they passed through three rivers. Our Bill Churchill reports on what they hope to accomplish as they near the end of their special journey. It might look like your typical bike ride along this stretch of Highway 281, but it is far from it. We started at the Oklahoma border above Perryton, Texas. And this team's journey across the state is far from over. The cyclists plan to ride all the way to South Padre Island, pushing through the pain, the heat, determined to reach their destination. After day one, I thought, oh boy, what I get myself into. It was very hot, very hard. We caught up with the group during this pit stop in Three Rivers. They were drinking lots of pickle juice as they tried to cool down after already cycling miles under the South Texas sun. The face of their motivation can be seen on the back of their shirts, calling this stretch across Texas Abigail's trail. She was on her way home, Christmas presents in the trunk, uh, and uh, tragic head-on collision. Barry Morgan and the others are riding in memory of Barry's niece, 22-year-old Abby Arroyos, who was tragically killed following that car accident in West Texas. Arroyos was a graduate of Texas Tech University, where she was working as a journalist. This ride, Barry's way of not only honoring her memory, but also a way to raise money to help other students with scholarships, something he believes his niece would have wanted. Already awarded uh, four scholarships this year from scholarship monies before the ride. Abby's mom, Debbie, offering her own support to the riders along the way. What an awesome thing they're doing to keep her memory alive, and I just can't thank them enough. Pedaling their way towards their destination, hoping to reach it by Friday. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.